This is how we assemble the G4 slide. The uh, first step is going to be to put the short leg into the uh, foot. Now, there are three feet. They're, the one that has a slant to it is going to go on the ladder. The one that's going to go on the steel support pole is identical to the one that goes on the short leg with the exception that on the uh, flange right there, that bolt hole is much larger than the one that's going to be used on the uh, short leg. So make sure you've got the right foot. Now, the short leg, the holes that are going to go down into the, into the foot are four and a half inches from the top. So make sure you've got the right end going down. Okay, then you just pick up the uh, foot receiver, slip it over, and align the holes. Then you're going to take a bolt and anti-seize. It's very, very, very important that you use the anti-seize on the bolts or the nuts are going to seize. Okay, so take the bolt and then take a flat washer. Align the holes, slip the bolt through, pick up another flat washer and a locking nut. Go ahead and uh, hand tighten them in. Then you repeat that process for the uh, other three bolt holes. Now what you want to do too is uh, once you've got them all started in there is uh, take your wrench and uh, fully tighten them down or you won't be able to get back in there and uh, tighten them up later. So what you want to do is tighten them up nice and snug but don't over tighten them. Next step Make sure that you have the uh, box that the uh, slide came in on the ground so you don't scratch up the uh, slide as we assemble it. Now it really helps to put the helix in exactly the position that you're looking at it. Otherwise it's unstable and tends to rock around quite a bit. So what we're going to do now is take the uh, short leg and uh, slip it over the leg spud just like that and then align the holes in the uh, leg with the uh, leg receiver. Now there are nuts embedded inside the leg receiver. So what you want to do again is uh, take a bolt and then put a uh, lock washer and then a flat washer on it and slip it into the hole. And go ahead and just hand tighten it up. Just like that. And then we're going to repeat the process for the other three holes. Okay, the next step is to pick the uh, leg extension up and uh, just slip it over the steel support pole, just like that. Now we're going to insert that pole into the helix right there. Now on the pole, you're going to notice that there's, gonna, there's some holes, let me just zero in a little bit, right there, and those holes align with the holes in the helix. So just pick up the pole. and slide it up into the helix. Align the holes. And then pick up a, hang on a second, pick up a bolt and you put a flat washer on it. You slip it through the hole. Like that. Then take another flat washer and a locking nut and just hand tighten it on. You want to keep it a little bit loose because we're going to do the other end. Okay, then go down to the uh, top end of the helix and then take another 5 inch bolt and put a flat washer on it. Then if you'll notice, let me zoom in a little bit, on the uh, cap that goes in the end of the support pole, there's holes in it. There you go. Those holes need to align with the holes in the uh, helix. Yeah, good. And slip the bolt in from underneath like that. Now, this can be a little tricky, so just you have to work with it a little bit to get it lined up. Great. Then you take a flat washer and a uh, lock washer, acorn nut, and you uh, hand tighten it on. And then what you want to do is go ahead and then take your Allen wrench and uh, fully tighten both those uh, five inch bolts. Next step, 
put the foot onto the ladder. Now, you'll notice that on the ladder, there's the uh, hole where the water hose is going to go through. Now, there's another hole right there. That's where you're going to put the uh, long bolt in. There's three bolts that attach the uh, foot to the ladder. So what you do is just, it only goes on one way. Just slip it on and line those holes just like that. And then you take a bolt and a flat washer. You slip it through the hole. Then you take another flat washer and a locking nut. Reach inside and hand tighten them on. And then repeat the process for the other two bolts. Now what you want to do though is make sure that you go ahead and reach in there and fully tighten all three nuts once you have them all in because you won't be able to get back down in there and do it again later. Just yeah, repeat that for all three. Okay, the next step is to uh, put the entry or the seating section to the, uh, to the steps. Now before you get started, you'll notice that on the bottom of the uh, seating section there's a uh, the water hose. Now what you want to do is uh, put it into that female fitting. So you take PVC glue on both the fitting and the hose. And there's a little trick to getting it in. Just bend it like that and let it pop in and then go ahead and push it up in there just like that. Now you want that glue to uh, thoroughly dry before you go on to the next process here. But for the video's sake we're just going to go ahead. What you're going to do is you're going to take the hose and you're going to slide it down into the uh, into the ladder. Now there's some nylon rods that go across there that hold the steps up. You want to make sure that the hose goes behind all those nylon rods and then it'll come up, it'll pop up right there at the back end through that hole. So what you want to do is just gently pull that hose and slide that ladder up toward the entry section just like that. Good. Now when you get there, what you're going to do is align the holes in the, uh, st in the uh, ladder with the holes in the entry section. Now the entry section has nuts already embedded into it. So what you do is you take a bolt and then you take a uh, lock washer and then a flat washer and you simply thread them in and hand tighten them. Now you want to do that for the uh, other bolts the same way. Just leave them hand tight at this point because you're going to want to uh, do some adjusting a little bit later on. Okay, the next step is to put the all threads into the uh, entry section. Now there's five of them. We've inserted four of them. What you want to do is just simply uh, hand tighten them into the nuts that are embedded inside the uh, entry section. Now it's important that you just hand tighten them and don't use a pair of pliers to uh, tighten them up. And you just uh, put all five in just like that. Just hand snug. And that's the end of that part. Next step, we're going to put the exit section onto the helix. Simply just pick up the exit section. Align the uh, the bolt holes in the flanges just like that. And take a bolt and a flat washer. Slip it through the flange. Then a flat washer and a lock washer. And a nut. And then you repeat that process for the other bolt holes. Then what you want to do is uh, take your wrench and then in an alternating fashion go ahead and uh, tighten them up. Not too tight at this point because what we want to do is, is make sure we have a smooth even transition on that sliding surface. Then once you uh, have that uh, line correctly then go ahead and fully tighten up again in an alternating fashion those nuts until you have that gasket fully compressed. The next step is to position the helix in what it will be its final position on the deck. Um, because the slide itself when it's fully assembled is very difficult to move uh, it's best to position it without the uh, ladder uh, and uh, entry section attached. So once you have it where it's uh, supposed to be 
then take the entry section and the ladder and you'll notice that uh, on the top there let me zoom in there are the um, all threads sticking out what you want to do is align them with the holes in the flange right there and it just pops in just like that now the all threads are going to pass through the uh, flange right there and so what you want to do is uh, take a flat washer and a uh, lock washer and a nut and just go ahead and reach up under there and uh, hand thread them on now we're going to remove the uh, ladder and the uh, entry section here again in just a little bit so at this point all you want to do is uh, is uh, hand tighten them up enough to uh, keep it in, uh, in uh, securely attached okay and just like I said repeat the process and then what we we'll want to do too is uh, is ensure that uh, we have a smooth even transition there on the sliding surface right there okay okay the next step we want to make sure that that uh, ladder is at 16 degrees from vertical so uh, just take your angle finder let me zoom in a little bit and uh, check it there with a slope finder make sure it's at 16 degrees great now once that you want to make sure that it's also level from side to side so take a bubble level just like that put it on the side of the steps and uh, go ahead and move it left to right until it's nice and level good next step what we want to do is we want to make sure that there's a one inch gap between the uh, feet there but yeah exactly zero in right there make sure there's approximately one inch worth of gap right there and then what you want to do is go ahead and rotate the uh, foot on the uh, support pole until it lines with the holes in the uh, steel plate at the bottom then what you want to do is take a marker and using the uh, foot as a template go ahead and mark the locations for the anchor bolts now we're going to have a short demo here at the end that shows how to drill those uh, holes. Uh, what you also want to do is uh, go ahead and remove the ladder and entry section from the helix and then uh, move it out of the way when you drill. Uh, then once you've got the anchor bolts in, then just reassemble the slide. Okay, now once the, uh, the slide has been positioned over the anchor bolts and uh, attached, what we want to do is put the handrails on. Before we can put the handrails on, we need to uh, insert the all threads. Now on the, on the uh, you've been given three different sizes of all threads. There's two inch, two and a half inch, and uh, three inch all threads. that go into specific positions onto the handrail. So the uh, positions number one, two, and three are there. Then four and five, and then six, and seven. Okay, in positions number one, two, and three, we're going to put a two inch bolt, the all thread. Simply just screw them in by hand. Yeah, just like that. Then on positions uh, four and five, we're going to use a three inch, the longest bolts, all threads. And then on position six and seven, we use a two and a half inch all thread. Now it helps to have a, a rag with you because uh, you can get all thread, all uh, anti-seize all over your fingers and uh, you don't want to get it on the slide. There you go. Okay, now that we have the all threads inserted into the handrail, uh, first you want to notice that the handrail itself, uh, you're going to put it on with the uh, logo facing out. The handrails themselves uh, come from the factory with a slight bend to it. Now that's perfectly okay. It's designed to uh, to meet the profile of the slide right there. All right. Then all you want to do is um, at the top of the uh, rail there on the entry section, there are three holes. Just simply pick it up and place the all threads through the holes. It takes a little bit of alignment. There we go. Good. Now. On the back side of the entry section right there, there are two additional holes. The all thread slip through. And then the bottom two are going to go through the uh, step itself and stick through. Now what you do is you take, let me back up. Okay, you take your uh, extension and, uh, and your deep socket. And then up under there, the seating section, there, there are the three holes. Just simply uh, slip the extension with the uh, 
with just a flange nut on it and you repeat that process for the other three holes. Now it's okay to go ahead and uh, just leave those uh, a little loose at this time because we want to be able to bend that handrail a little bit if we need to. Okay, now on the uh, two that, that go through the steps, you're going to want to take a, a flat washer and then a flange nut. And then once you've got those on, go ahead and uh, fully tighten each one of those um, nuts up. And then repeat the process for the other handrail. Then the last thing to do is just hook the uh, water hose to the uh, stub up. And that completes the assembly process for the uh, G4 slide. This is how we install the anchor bolts for the G4 slide. Now, the feet that go on the, on the ladder and on the short leg are exactly the same. So what you want to use is the, the foot itself as a template. Take a marker and go ahead and mark the positions for all the bolt locations. Then you're going to need a uh, masonry bit, 3 8 and it should be marked with tape at 1 and 3 quarter inches because that's how deep we want to drill. That should also be a hammer drill, by the way. So you just uh, go ahead and drill through the concrete to the correct depth, just like that. And you repeat that process for all those other bolt holes. Now make sure you brush away all the debris, sometimes a garden hose or some compressed air to get the debris out of the inside of the hole. And then you're going to take the anchor bolt and just screw a nut onto the top, slip it into the hole, and take a hammer and tap it in until it hits the bottom of the hole. Good, just like that. Take the nut off. And you repeat that process for the uh, other bolts. Now, the, the foot that goes on to the uh, steel support pole has a larger diameter anchor bolt. It also has larger holes in the flange. So what you're going to have to do is change out your bit. And uh, we'll get right back to that. Okay, now for the, uh, the foot that's going to go on the uh, steel support pole, uh, you're going to need a larger drill bit. You're going to need a half inch masonry bit. And what you want to do is uh, use your tape and mark it at two and a half inches. Because that's how deep we need to go. Just like that, right. If you also do the same thing, use it as a template. Mark the locations of the bolt holes. And then just uh, go ahead and drill the hole. Just like that. Again, you want to make sure you clean the debris out of the hole. And you repeat that process for the other bolt holes. Then you take your anchor. You put a nut on top. Stick it in a hole. Use your hammer. Go ahead and tap it in until it hits the bottom of the hole. That's it. Then what we want to do is uh, pick up the slide and position it over all of the bolt holes. Now once the uh, slide's in position over the bolts, then you, what, what you want to do is take a flat washer, a nut, and go ahead and uh, tighten them up. Use your wrench and uh, tighten them up nice and firm, but don't over tighten them. Now when you've repeated that process for all the bolts, what you want to do is take the protective caps and slip them over the exposed nuts just like that and that completes it.